Build up the distance. We're going to start with some bunts and then work our way up to some bombs. Bunts to bombs, Milo. So bunts to bombs. Hey everyone, we're back today. We're going to be hitting driver. We haven't done this in a while, Milo. So we're going to show you guys how to hit it straight but build up the speed too. Build up the distance. We're going to start with some bunts and then work our way up to some bombs. Bunts to bombs, Milo. So bunts to bombs. Kind of do that in baseball a little bit, right? Kind of hit some line drives, little short ones, and yeah. then work your way up. Yeah, we did. So it's a good pattern for your golf swing to sort of start sh slow, start with shorter distances, right? Sort of like flighting wedge shots, same mm -hmm. idea. But even with driver, a lot of you guys just get up and First thing you do before your round is hit 10 drivers as hard as you can, which might not be a bad idea because we know driving is so important. Strokes gain, mm -hmm. it's really important for scoring, distance, getting your ball in play. Let's start with this sort of, this little, I'm gonna call it a bunt. Now, obviously we're not hitting shots like that. That would be considered a bunt, right? Where you're yeah. kind of like this. But we're gonna do sort of a condensed version where we're just hitting some chip shots. Yeah, it's just kind of slow motion. Let's put one on a tee here. And I like to imagine my target line goes on, you know, back to the camera and on to infinity out there. Yep. And I don't have to hit it as far as I can. And so I can make a nice little swing with no speed and just get the ball to go 30 or 40 yards. I see it. it's a pretty wide motion. I like with these little bunt drives too is sort of more of a it's coming through pretty level a lot of you guys yeah. struggle with driver because you're you're hitting the ground you're trying to swing way up or you're swinging way down there's just too much chaos in this hitting area yeah i see people they're trying to hit up so they go this way yeah or i also see a you know a lot of oh pop fly city pop right? fly so this will just help you get nice and sort of shallow through this hitting area and the up part can be more created with our ball position and setup. Yeah, and you might even make just a little rehearsal swing straight over the top of the ball. Yeah. Just to feel it level and then just clip it off the tee just gently. So like I that. see a pretty wide, pretty fluid motion. How about we hit one with a little less unload? So this Our one, site members would know this as foundation two. So this where will we're, be like an F2 driver for us. We call this foundation number two. Yep. So I'm gonna load the lever system and then just turn through and not unload it. So if you wanna know more about our foundations, obviously join our website. That's our pitch for that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll so do you one can more hit of those. some more of those lower. That would be more of, I would say, the bunt one. That was a good one. No curve. So now we're going to ladder it up a little bit more. I want to see one, you know, past the red flag. So more of that, you know, 200 range, I would say, 180. Okay. There. So that'll just be a little bit more velocity. Do you want me to still hit it with no unload or do you want me to start letting it unload a little bit? I'm sure, I think with the speed now, it's probably gonna unload a little bit. I could hold on, but I don't right. want to. Oh. So here we go. So nice I held little, on to that. Nice little low draw. Little low, almost a hook, but now I'll just start letting it go a little bit freer. And I imagine, I think now I'm going to start to see that ball go a little straighter, maybe even cut a hair. Yep. There we go. There's that straight one. Straight. With my driver, at this speed, it doesn't get in the air very much. Yep. But I like, too, like this sort of exercise, you could hit the ball solid here. You could probably hit it pretty solid here. Yeah. You're not, again, there's there's little to no chaos through the impact area. The face is very stable. And you're just sort of more or less sweeping it off the top, would you say, right? Yeah, just focusing on making an, what I feel like is a wide motion that's controlled by my body winding and unwinding. That was a beauty there. A one yard fade that went about, landed probably about 200 yards, went about 230. All right. So now you got that nice level feel through the hanging area. 
a sort of wide arc you're getting a good feel of the sequence and the movements you want so i think it's time to probably add a little speed huh yeah we'll start let's let's start putting a little bit of velocity into it there's a beauty right there why don't you just play that one all day that's kind of how i play only i hit it about 40 yards farther 40 <laughs> yards farther than that that still went almost 300 yards. You know, for this range with these new balls we're hitting, that's probably all you can do, but... Because that was pretty close to the back deck back there. Yeah, but that, that was, was nice. 290 in the air, probably. Another good one. Here we go, we'll fade this one. There it is. That's my shot. I'm assuming you got a pretty good awareness from that exercise of sort of where the club is, the, how, how the face was nice and square and stable, and you were just turning through and sort of sweeping it off the top versus, again, adding another element and some chaos at the bottom. I'm trying to feel it as sim the motion as simple and as few moving parts as possible. Mm -hmm. So when I'm moving slow, all I'm really feeling is a winding and an unwinding of my body and a loading and an unloading of my lever system, my wrist, maybe a little fold in my elbow, but I'm trying to limit how much I'm folding and how much I'm trying to throw my arms and things at the ball. Yeah. So for those of you that, you know, maybe you get some deep divots from time to time or you're struggling with hitting it high on the, the top of the face or maybe you're hitting it way on the bottom of the face, you know, getting this more of a sweeping action sort of from bunting these drivers then you can build up to the bombs and when you add speed you'll find more of that sweet spot mm -hmm. more often because this equates to distance too yeah <laughs> actually a lot for me speed is like glue so if your motion is good speed actually makes the face and the head more stable as it swings around you mm -hmm. and it's easy to hit the middle of the face yep. when the club's moving slower it's, i have a harder time hitting the center of the face which tells me if i'm moving efficiently so yeah. It's really good exercise. That's probably why when you see us out in the golf course, whether it's on Instagram or our YouTube or our website, we're always going pretty much 90 to 100 miles an hour with our driver. We're not, not really holding back. You mean 90 to 100 percent? 100 percent. Not 100 miles an hour. <laughs> we both swing a lot faster than that. <laughs> so hopefully you like this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Remember, come over and visit us at MiloLinesGolf.com. We've got lots of driver videos and lots of other videos to help you learn to move like an athlete. They can learn to bunt it out there all day long. And the best part <laughs> is we give them one-on-one -on -one coaching yes. monthly and help them build a practice plan for themselves so that they can understand what they need. How many people that watch our YouTubes would benefit from knowing what they need to work on for them versus just, just picking and choosing a video? Throwing and mud at the wall and hoping it's the right thing? Scrolling around, right? So. Yeah.